All right, here we go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and look for an image we can use to make a sticker. And uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this on Vectornator or what is now called Curve. We'll go on the internet, find something we like. I like this Celtic knot. So you could do a screen crap capture Whatever way it works, Command Shift 4 or drag it, but get that image off the internet. Then once you have it on the internet, you can open up a new document, go to US Letter and Curve, which is what we like. Now that you're in there, you're gonna bring that image. I'm looking for it over here, but you know what? You can go into your photos on your photo album, find it there, mm -hmm. bring it in that way. But you can also um, grab it off the desktop. And in this case, I'm working on a desktop, so drag it in. And if you drop it in, boom, there it is. This is actually pixel art, so it's all pixely, like a JPEG, so you can't really use it. It won't cut. So we're going to go ahead and hit that auto trace, which is a really great way to make it vector because it will trace the pixels and do the math so that it turns into lines. You can adjust how you auto trade by dragging over here. Well, I just hit the button there, but I wasn't too happy with it. So I'm gonna go back and command chips Z or undo. And you can select complexity or down below where it says contrast and get a different effect. Ooh, let's try this photography. Auto trace. Oh, I don't like that. That didn't come out good. Huh, I'll go back. Well, I'm definitely going to go back to sketch. Increase complexity. Mm, let's try it. Auto trace. Oh, hey, that's kind of nice. All right. Mm, let's play with this a little bit more. Try again. Ooh. Once you find something you like, you know, then you can go for it because it's actually converted it into editable lines and shapes. See what I mean? Now that we've got all these dots, we can edit it because it's no longer pixel, it's vector, it does the math. Once you've done that, go File, Export, and we wanna export it as SVG. Hit Export, and I'm gonna give it a name before I send it, Celtic Knot dot SVG. On the desktop's fine. Or if you want to, like, airdrop it, you could airdrop it to the Mac Mini 2. So now that we've done that, we can close this. Go into Illustrator. So you'll probably want to drop it into the Mac Mini 2. Airdrop it there. Go into Illustrator. Uh, whoops, pretend you didn't see that. And then to get it into Illustrator, it will file, open. And it's called Celtic Knot. SVG, look up, look up, it's up top. There it is. Open, drop it in. Now check this out. Do me a favor. Go view, outline, and you'll see that it's lines. It's lines, and you can be able to use it because now those lines will cut. So double check that you've got those lines, and then go file, export as, one last change, DXF. Right there, DXF, and the cutter will be able to read those lines to cut it. So set that, Celtic knot, DF, AXF, export, okay. And that's it, we're done with Illustrator there. Now we're gonna go into Silhouette Studio, which is the cutter, big S, should be hooked up, turned on, ready to go. You'll notice it's got design, store, library, so it's on design. We need to get that thing. So you could try different ways, but the best way you're gonna do is go up to file, because here I tried to drag it, but that didn't work. So go file, and we're gonna go to the library. File, library, import to library. Ooh, there it is, Celtic Knot DXF. You can double click or hit okay. It puts them in alphabetically, so there it is, Celtic Knot. I'll double click on this. Boom, boom. 
boom, it dropped it in. Now you'll notice when it drops it in, it's in different chunks. So click and drag the whole thing and then go up here to object, group. Now it's one thing. And you can grab the corners to resize it or move it. And you don't have to worry about all the separate little pieces splitting up. So I'm gonna shrink it down a little bit. And you can do a lot of stuff. You can get a command copy or go edit copy and edit paste or command shift V. And you can put down a second copy of it. And you can do eight, 10, 20, however many copies you want. And this is if you want a bunch of little ones. I'm digging this. So guess what? We're ready to cut. So I've got two and this is what the cupboard looks like. They're up on top of the thing. You're ready to go to send. Let's make sure all the settings are good here. It's lit up red, so that means it's ready to set. I like the depth to be a little bit over two. Um, so that you get a good cut. Oh, it's on cardstock. Let's change that to vinyl matte, because that's where we're cutting right now. And let's increase it to a little bit above two. Always make sure it's cutting everything, not just the edge. And then hit send and you'll be done and it'll cut it and then you can weed it and stick it and I'll do another video. Sometimes it may say unavailable if it's not plugged in or turned on. So make sure it's plugged in, turned on and it says available. But that's pretty much it.